In another example, working with the Metropolitan Police, we have seized 20 kilos of cocaine and half a million pounds. And only yesterday, working with Border Force and the Police Service of Northern Ireland, we seized 36 kilos of cocaine. But the supply of illegal drugs is a transnational business. So too is our law enforcement response. Internationally, in the last month, the NCA has contributed to the seizure of in excess of 1.7 tonnes of illicit drugs. We are working to protect vulnerable children in the UK and overseas. The Home Secretary has described some of the exceptional work we have undertaken in the past month together with our partners. Following an international investigation, we recently arrested a British man suspected of possessing indecent images of children who was attempting to re-enter the UK from the Philippines. We are working to protect the border. We know that our joint work together with immigration enforcement is helping our partners in France to bring people smugglers to justice. An increasing proportion of attempts to reach the UK by small boat are being thwarted on the French side, with at least 30 people having been convicted. We are protecting you from those that are preying on your fears and trying to take your money. In addition to work highlighted by the Home Secretary, we have 86 other instances where we are working alongside a range of regulatory bodies and Public Health England on fraud. We will take swift action against anyone unlawfully selling fake kits or PPE. For example, a man from West Sussex was recently arrested by City of London Police and charged after being caught making and selling COVID-19 treatment kits to people in the UK, the US and France. Online in the last month, the National Cyber Security Centre, together with ourselves and the City of London Police, have taken down more than 2,000 scams relating to coronavirus, including fake online shops, malware distribution sites and phishing sites seeking personal information such as passwords or credit card details. The Home Secretary has highlighted the collective national effort to tackle coronavirus. But the public can help fight crime too. Indeed, we have an ask of you. Criminals will try and exploit this national crisis. We are not trying to scare people at a time where many of us are already anxious. But we do want you to be aware of the simple steps you can take to protect yourselves and your loved ones from harm online. Firstly, protect your children online. We have created a range of material that will help you to talk to them, however young they are, and without frightening them. It includes guidance on how to identify manipulative behaviour. You can find a step-by-step -step guide at thinkyouknow.co.uk. Secondly, stay safe online. The new Cyber Aware campaign sets out six top tips on how to protect yourself online. These include creating strong passwords using three random words, regularly updating your devices and turning on backup. More details are on the Cyber Aware website. Thirdly, look after your money. Fraudsters have targeted members of the public by phone, by text and by email. They have used the current situation to peddle fake testing kits and prescription drugs. We are asking you to be vigilant for these scams. Be even more cautious than usual if you are contacted by unknown numbers and don't open suspicious emails or their attachments. The police and banks will never ask you to withdraw money or transfer it to a different account. If you believe you are a victim, please report it to your bank and action fraud immediately. While the national restrictions are in place and you are staying home to protect the NHS and save lives, we, the National Crime Agency, together with our law enforcement partners, are pursuing relentlessly the most harmful criminals, whoever and wherever they are, to keep you safe. And looking ahead, we will help ensure that the country's economic recovery is not subverted by organised crime. We will continue to protect the public to the very best of our collective ability. Thank you, Home Secretary. Thank you, Lynn. Thanks very much. I'm now going to hand over to Steve Powers.
The NHS has pulled out all the stops to manage the surge in patients with coronavirus, and our wonderful staff, of course, continue to work around the clock to do just that. And as a result, the NHS has not been overwhelmed, and we have at all times maintained the capacity needed to provide patients affected by this terrible virus with the treatment that they need. But today, we are reminding everyone that the NHS is also there to help if you have, have a condition that is not coronavirus. It's particularly important that if you have symptoms of an illness that might need urgent attention, sudden facial weakness that might be a stroke, chest pain that might be a heart attack, a sick child who's not improving, or perhaps a pregnant woman whose baby is moving less than usual, you should contact the NHS. Go online uh, or call, but online first through 111 um, by contacting your GP first, of course, uh, or in a real emergency, um, there's always 999. Those methods of contacting the NHS are still there. For many of these conditions, fast diagnosis and treatment is absolutely crucial. So it's really important not to delay. The NHS is still there for you. I want to go through some data that you will be very 